Welcome back to Factorio, our little tutorial series trying to cover a tip or trick in 10 minutes or less. So this time around we're going to do belt balances. Oh the glory that is belt balances. You will see these on multiplayer map after multiplayer map after multiplayer map. And every man his dog builds them slightly different. I'm here to try and, try and make sure that you know which ones you should build and which ones you shouldn't build. And why so. So we're going to start off with a simple four to four. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take 16 undergrounds and we're going to put them on one belt. And because there's 16 onto four, we should end up with four on each belt. If this balances, if this takes one input and splits it evenly between four outputs, which it does. Um, so we've got our belt balancer number one. This puppy works. I will guarantee this puppy works time and time and time again. Um, one you will often see is this build, which is a cut down without the extra two splitters on the end. And unfortunately it doesn't work. And we're going to demonstrate that right now by feeding two different materials in on just two belts. I'm going to watch the other end and say, hang on, we fed two belts in and we're only getting two half belts out. That's not good. That says this particular one or this particular design does not work. Sure, by all means, if I feed those two in, we'll now get four half belts out, you know, and we'll ignore that things are no longer being split. That's the idiosyncrasy with the actual get game and splitters themselves. They don't work 100% when you f fill in a fully buffered belt because this guy's running these two straight through and then swapping and running these two straight through if there's any little gap in here that would cause a better mix but of course because I'm using creative mode and these are fully buffered belts we don't get that little gap so how to fix this one and look if you see it on a multiplayer map especially if the person is still online grab hold of them and say dude it doesn't work and just destroy the belts and show them it doesn't work take these two splitters put them there and you'll suddenly see it does work. All right, it is now throughput unlimited. Prior to, it was throughput limited. And the reason it was throughput limited is this belt comes in and has nowhere to go. This belt comes in and has nowhere to go. Uh, this belt comes in and half of it goes to here, half of it goes to here and goes through. This one comes in half here, half here and goes through. And this bottom line, half of it ends up here. So you end up with, at this narrow point, you only have one belt worth of throughput. Okay, when you're feeding in just two lanes. You know, if I fed in these two lanes, again, you would see we have one belt here, two belts here, we'll have a full two belts out. By the same token, if you're running all four belts, four belts it'll look like it works. It'll look like it works perfectly. The issue is it doesn't actually work if the right conditions are met, met with the input. So as I said, one of those, one of those there, and suddenly we have a full output. Um, and that's key. I actually build mine slightly differently. I admit it's not entirely correct and it is a waste of a splitter. I put this extra splitter in. And the only reason I do that is it's repeatable. Front to back, left to right, it's repeatable. And it's quicker and easier for me to remember how to build it. Now I admit, it looks like it's really stuffed up at the moment, and that's purely just because, as I said, uh, creative mode, feeding in a full belt of everything, tends to sync up these splitters, uh, and then they don't actually do anything, but with a non-perfect, fully backed up belt in, we do have a much better spread across the belts. Okay, next uh, next one, we're gonna do an eight to eight splitter. Now the most important part about splitters is you see them on main busts, buses, and it's so we get four belts of, you know, rather than two full belts in and two half diminished belts in on the bottom line or top line, whichever it is, and they're continuing straight through. We get four roughly balanced belts on the way out. All right, and let's even see whether we can demonstrate that really quickly. Put that there, put that there, 
put a void here and go here. So I'm now taking half off this and half off this. All right. And you'll see we'll and two full belts here and we'll get a much better spread at this end. Uh, assuming, you know, uh, we were doing on our iron bus. Iron, oh, okay, copper bus it is. Uh, bump the game speed up to two just so it filters out quicker. And you can see I'm putting two full belts in, two half belts in, and we've got a much better mix at this end. All right, uh, our eight lane. So this is a four lane. Uh, next bigger scale up is an eight lane. All right. Oh, there's sixes and other things, but w we tend to work with a power of two just because it's simple. Um, same story, I put 32 belts in, and we should get four on each lane, which we do. Which is great. That means it is balanced from one at least out to eight. Uh, next test is if we take eight lots of random junk and output eight lots of random junk, does it work? And going by the look of this, I'd say it probably does. Now, the quickest and easiest way to test a balancer is test it across the diagonal. So if I cut those four input belts and I cut those four output belts we should still see four full belts on the output now, it will take a little while for everything to back up uh, but we do see four full output belts second quick and dirty test is try the middle four uh, which are those ones uh, so we're taking the outside four and we want to pull off the middle four. And same story. We should have four full belts on the output. We do. All right. Now, last one I want to show off is one that I'd actually been using. And it's a Madzuri design. Now, if you've been playing Factorio for a while, Madzuri is pretty famous for... Um, basically making good blueprints. Good blueprints, good designs. He's been doing it for years now. Um, and he made this wonderful design, which is an 8 to an 8. And I'd actually been using it for quite some time because it had his name on it. And I just assumed it worked. I'd never bothered testing it. Until in, a, in the Cractorio series that I've been doing with a couple of other YouTubers, this scenario basically came up. We had four full belts coming in one side, and we're only dragging out one side, um, just because it was half built. And I saw this, I'm like, that, that that's not right. Why are we doing this? Um, turns out this one is what's known as 50% throughput limited. All right, we have four full belts coming in, but this belt comes down here and goes out to there. This belt stops dead. It doesn't actually come down here. This belt stops dead, doesn't come down here. And this belt comes down and comes out here. All right, now, of course, because these balances are here, if we take them away, we'll see we got, and take those two away. All right, we'll see we got two belts in, two belts out. I join these two back up. We'll go back to half belts, all right? Um, this particular design does not work. Um, it's a very, very simple design. It's an okay design. Because um, if you feed four belts in on... Uh, if you feed eight belts in, it will do a very good job of mixing all eight belts. Let's take those and put those there. Uh, it does a wonderful job of mixing eight belts. But, like I said, it is throughput limited. All right. Um, that's probably the, one of the most important things with the belt balancer is to count your lines. So this one comes in, it comes down, it goes out. So that's one lane. This one goes through undergrounds and comes back out. That's two lanes. This one comes through undergrounds and back out three lanes. And this one comes in, comes into the center splitter and back out four lanes. It remains four lanes wide. This one remains eight lanes wide. This one starts off at eight lanes but narrows down to just four in the middle, which means it's 50% throughput limited. But yeah, that's it for this little tip trick. 
Alright, thank you guys for watching. I went just over 10 minutes, but that's not bad. Um, or at the end of the screen, you should find the subscribe button, along with on the right-hand side, link, link to the playlist for more of these little quick, t quick tip and trick videos. Hopefully all the other ones are 10 minutes or less. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye!